preparing insoluble salt. So just now we have discussed uh, how to prepare soluble salt. Eh? So now let's discuss uh, preparing insoluble salt. Now to prepare insoluble salt is much, much easier compared to uh, preparing soluble salt. Okay, there is only one reactions that we use to preparing insoluble salt. I'm going to discuss with you later. Now before we discuss the reactions to prepare insoluble salt, let's have a look at these two chemical reaction. Let's have a look at displacement reaction first. Let's say we react copper sulfate with calcium. If calcium is more reactive than copper, then uh, in these reactions, calcium will kick out copper. Okay, it will kick out copper and, and uh, he will take the place of copper to form calcium sulfate. So here we can see that initially it's copper sulfate. So calcium kick out this copper and then uh, to replace copper to form calcium sulfate. Eh? Okay, and uh, after being kicked out, this copper become alone. Okay, so we say in this process, we say calcium displaces copper from its salt eh, to form calcium sulfate. Now, this reaction is called a displacement reaction. A displacement reaction. Then, how about this one? How about this one? Okay, now here we have calcium chloride and copper sulfate. Okay. Now in this reaction, both of these, both of these are uh, solutions. Eh? Both of these are solutions because they are soluble in water. So uh, in these reactions, we can see that again, calcium kick out copper. Okay, it displaces copper and form calcium sulfate. Eh? Okay, exactly the same in this reaction. But in this case, uh, after the copper being kicked out by calcium, then the copper will replace calcium. Initially, it's calcium chloride, right? After that, copper replace calcium, okay, to form copper chloride. So in this case, calcium replace copper, copper replace calcium, or we say calcium displace copper and copper displace calcium. So we call this double displacement reactions okay so this one calcium displays copper only so this is a displacement this one calcium displays copper copper displays calcium so it's a double displacement reactions huh? so we use this double displacement reactions to prepare insoluble salt and actually this is the only reactions that we can use huh, to prepare insoluble salt so always remember to prepare insoluble salt there's only one reaction that is double displacement and in double displacement first you must have two solutions okay let's say you want to prepare uh, calcium sulfate okay this is the insoluble salt eh? uh, because all sulfate are soluble except pvc eh? okay and the c is the calcium so calcium sulfate is insoluble so prepare to prepare calcium sulfate you must have a solution that contains calcium okay one of it that eh? you must have calcium and then you must have another solution that contains sulfate. Okay, so when these two uh, solutions react, so double displacement reactions occurs, then uh, they will form calcium sulfate. This is the insoluble salt that we want, and uh, they will start form another solution, uh, copper chloride. And then so we can remove this is since this is insoluble, is is a solid, then we can remove this calcium sulfate easily from the solutions by using filtrations. So preparations of insoluble salt. So insoluble salt can be made by ionic precipitation. Now this ionic precipitation is a double displacement reaction. So sometimes we call it uh, double decomposition or sometimes we call it ionic precipitation. Okay. Uh, in most of the book uh, in SPM, they will use the word double decomposition. Okay. So double decomposition, double displacement, so ionic precipitation, they are the same reaction and they are referring to the same reactions so insoluble salts can be prepared by ionic precipitations eh? and uh, so in this ionic precipitations it involves uh, mixing a solutions that contains its positive ion okay now this is the salt that we want to prepare and the positive ion is calcium eh? so one of the solution must contain the positive ions okay 
So it contains its positive ion with another solutions that contain its negative ion. The negative ion is sulfate. So we must have another solutions that contain the negative ions of the salt that we want to prepare. And keep in mind that both of this must be solutions. It's the solutions that contain positive ion and solution contains negative ion. Both of these must be solutions. Eh? Okay, now let's see this example. Write the equations of the reaction that can be used to prepare the following salt. Eh? The first one is uh, calcium sulfate. So to prepare calcium sulfate, first you must have a solution that contains uh, calcium ion. Okay. Uh, you can use uh, calcium chloride, okay? You can use uh, calcium nitrate, okay? And then, so how about calcium sulfate and uh, calcium carbonate? Can you use calcium sulfate and calcium carbonate? The answer is no. Why? Because calcium carbonate is insoluble in water, and so does calcium sulfate. They are insoluble in water. So if they are insoluble, uh, then they cannot form solutions, right? Okay, so uh, then we cannot use it uh, because the reactant must be a solution. Uh? Okay, the reactant must be solution. So we cannot use insoluble salt uh, to prepare uh, insoluble salt. So we must use uh, solutions. Uh, let's say, okay, we use uh, calcium chloride. So let's erase this. Okay, we use calcium chloride. Okay, uh, then we need another solution uh, that contains the negative ions, sulfate. You can use any sulfate which is uh, in solutions, uh, inc including sulfuric acid. Let's say we use sulfuric acid uh, because sulfuric acid contains uh, sulfate ions. Okay. Now, of course, you can use other sulfate like zinc sulfate or uh, copper sulfate. Okay, whatever sulfate, as long as uh, it's insoluble. Uh, as long as it's soluble, that you can form solution, then fine. Uh, let's say we use sulfuric acid. Okay, sulfuric acid. Um, okay, the products. Uh, okay, so calcium chloride. Okay, it will displace hydrogen. Uh, it displaces hydrogen, then it will form calcium sulfate. Uh, okay, so this is a salt that we want. Uh, it's uh, insoluble, so therefore it's a solid. So this must be aqueous, uh, since it's a solution. So uh, aqueous solutions. Okay, and another product is uh, the hydrogens uh, from the acid uh, displace calcium, so it will form HCl, uh, HCl, hydrochloric acid. So this is a reaction uh, that we can use to prepare uh, calcium sulfate, which is uh, which is uh, an insoluble salt. Okay, let's let's let me give you another one. Okay, um, let's say these times we use uh, calcium nitrate. Uh, calcium nitrate and then uh, we use uh, copper sulfate as a second reactant so calcium displaces copper so it will form calcium sulfate eh? okay and a uh, copper displaces calcium so it will form copper nitrate so this is also another reactions that we can use to prepare uh, calcium sulfate actually there are a few more uh, reactions that you can use uh, as long as you use uh, both solutions that uh, one contains the positive ions and one contains the negative ions and both are solutions then after they react then for sure they will form the uh, insoluble calcium sulfate okay how about this one okay we are asked to suggest uh, chemical reactions uh, to prepare lead to chloride okay first of all we must have uh, solutions that contains uh, lead two ions. Huh? Now we cannot use uh, lead sulfate because it's uh, insoluble. You cannot use lead chloride because it's also insoluble. And you cannot use lead carbonate, so it's also insoluble. The lead solutions that we can use uh, is lead nitrate, huh? okay, because all nitrate are soluble in water. Okay, chloride, okay, um, there's a lot of chloride that you can use. You can use uh, hydrochloric acid, uh, zinc chloride, okay, sodium chloride. Okay, um, let's say we choose sodium chloride. Eh? Okay, sodium chloride. Okay, so this is a double displacement. Lead displaces sodium. Eh? It will form lead chloride, and uh, sodium displaces lead. It will form sodium nitrate. 
okay so to balance the equations we need to have two nitrate uh, two nitrate and uh, two sodium chloride this is the chemical reactions uh, that we can use to prepare lead two chloride okay how about this one uh, copper two carbonate uh, so this is also another insoluble salt so for copper ions uh, let's use uh, copper sulfate copper sulfate and uh, carbonate most of the carbonates are insoluble except uh, potassium sodium and ammonium eh? okay so so they are the three carbonates that you can use so let's say we use a uh, sodium carbonate eh? sodium carbonate so double displacement copper displace sodium eh? then it become a uh, copper carbonate and a uh, sodium displace coppers they become sodium sulfate okay you see yeah we get the salt that we want eh? copper carbonate so that is how we prepare the insoluble salt eh? there's only one reactions the ionic precipitation or we call it double decomposition or so double displacement so that is the only reactions that we can use to prepare insoluble salt and always remember the both of the reactants must be solutions uh, it cannot be insoluble salt okay ionic equations uh, for uh, this uh, double displacement reactions uh, so in exam sometimes they don't want you to write the chemical equations but they want you to write the ionic equations uh, uh, to write the ionic equations uh, of uh, double displacement reactions uh, is very easy let me show you the first one so to prepare a uh, calcium sulfate so calcium sulfate uh, this is calcium sulfate uh, okay so uh, calcium sulfates contain calcium ions okay calcium ion and uh, sulfate ions okay sulfate ions so so in writing the ionic equations you just need to show um, the positive ions of the salt react with the negative ion of the salt okay and to prepare the salt uh, that's all okay yeah that is the ionic equations uh, to prepare uh, calcium sulfate uh, for lead 2 chloride also okay lead 2 ion react with chloride ion then you can get lead 2 chloride okay uh, we put a two to balance the equations and this is the ionic equations uh, for preparing lead two chloride and uh, for copper two co uh, copper two carbonates it's also the same okay we need to have a uh, copper two ions react with carbonate ions then um, then we get copper carbonate okay so that is how we write the ionic equations uh, for preparing insoluble salt step in preparing insoluble salt okay so to prepare insoluble salt is very easy first we we have a solution that contains the positive ion of the salt and then we have a second solution that contains the negative ions of the salt we mix these two solutions together then automatically it will form the salt uh, which is in solid form because it's insoluble salt right insoluble then it will form the salt in solid form or the precipitate uh, okay so it will form precipitate then uh, we need to remove the uh, salt okay the the precipitate from water and to remove the insoluble salt from water is very easy we just use filtrations uh, because it's solid so we can easily remove the water by using filtrations okay so uh, after filtrations then uh, then we get the salt that we want here okay the solid is the salt that we want um, the salt may still contain some uh, uh, reactants uh, on the surface so then we can use distilled water to wash it okay so we can rinse this this salt with uh, distilled water so after that uh, again we can use a filter papers to press on it to dry it uh, then we get the salt that we want so that is how easy uh, to prepare the insoluble salt so that's all eh? that's all for preparing salt first you need to know uh, the reactions to prepare the soluble salt and insoluble salt and seconds you need to know the methods uh, or the steps in preparing the salts uh, okay and you need to know the reason behind 
this step why we do this step why we use these reactions okay. and when you prepare salt okay there are two things that you need to consider first is the chemical reactions to get the salt that, that you want so which uh, chemical reactions that you want to use and and second you also need to consider how to remove the uh, impurities from the products so if there are impurities then you need to know how to remove it and if there's water you need to know how to remove the water as well so that's all for preparing salt